Welcome to another video from Twisted Dice. I'm Darren and today I'm going to be taking you through how to do a power weapon in just over 12 minutes. To be fair, you could probably, I could have probably done it a lot faster if I wasn't mucking around, tapping on the phone. But look, it is what it is. It was, I clocked in at 12, just over 12 minutes. I think I'm happy with it. So I know you can't really see it very well from there, but hopefully when you watch this video back, you'll see some really cool, fast techniques on doing some really awesome power weapons very, very quickly. Anyway, sit back, chill, relax. Uh, if you haven't already, please do us a massive great favor. If you could be so kind by hitting that subscribe, don't forget to smash the bell because that's gonna keep you updated on all the cool content that's coming out from us at Twisted Dice. Anyway, enjoy. In this video, I'm gonna be taking you through on how I done a power weapon very fast in just over 12 minutes, just using a paintbrush, Games Workshop paints, contrast paints, and of course, my faithful hairdryer. I thought this would be a good chance to put the actual timer in. So the dark blue, first of all, on the actual power weapon, just cover everything up. So next up, we're gonna be going in with McCrag blue. And then we're gonna put that down to the brush, and then we're gonna just mix it up a tad and then what we're going to do for that so let's pop that to one side hair dryer is going to help dry this up as you see it's quite watery what we're looking for is just to pull that the blue away so you've got the dark part at the end Okay, we're now going to go in with the Calgor Sky. Now, this is a lot, this is a much richer blue. Again, we're going to go this water down. And then we're just going to go up, so we're not going as far up this time. Oh, sorry, we're not going as far down where we've been before. So let's just get that around there that down there okay we're starting to get the colors starting to appear so now we're going to go in a little bit lighter so we're going to go straight in with the lighter blue i'm going to mix that in with the previous calgar blue okay making sure that's watery and then we're going to pull it up, not so far up as we did the previous ones. And then I want that just to go across there, like so, like so, like so. Now, if you probably notice, I'm not, not worried about going too smooth on this because I'm going to pull a glaze in afterwards. So we're going to go that to there, to there, and then we're going to go that to there, that to there. Okay, and having that watery means that we can put loads and loads of coats on and it will blend itself in anyway. And actually we want that to actually come. Okay, so next up we're gonna add some fen really, actually no we're not, we're gonna go just plain with this now, water. And that's all I'm using is water, mixing that down. We're just gonna go up a little bit more. Now to speed that process up, <laughs> that hairdryer really does come in handy. And then we're gonna go that to there, that to there, that to there like so. And then we're going to go in with the Fenris in grey. I'm 
Not so much this time. Right, we're going to add more, just go white, and we're going to go water down with the white. And we're just going to go there, like so. That, like so. That, like so, there. That, like so, there. And then we're just going to go, we're going to thicken that white up just a little bit. So we're going to thicken that white up just a tad. And then what we want to do is just pull that. Down along. That along there like so. Do the same on that. that. And then okay. So we'll let that dry. So we cheat and go in with the hair dryer and then what we're going to do, then going to go in with going to go in with the contrast, and we're going to water this down because we want this to be a glaze. And then all we're going to do with the glaze is just pull that over the top, let's let that dry. Again, over the top. Straight over the top again, just pull these colors in. To darken up the bits where we made a mistake, we're just going to go back in with the lavender blue. And then we're just going to tidy that part up there. And again, just here. And we just need a pull. Pull those colours in. And that, in 12 minutes and 20 seconds, is a power weapon ready for the tabletop. So tabletop power weapon in just over 12 minutes. Tell me what you think. Drop some comments down below. Hopefully you found some really awesome little tips and tricks at the back of this. The fellow turned out that, you know, the power weapon turned out really awesome. And I was very, very happy the way that turned out. Drop some comments down below. Tell me what you think. Really would appreciate it. If you haven't already, come find our Twisted Dice uh, community group out on Facebook. You know, any work that you've done, please come and do share and join in with the conversation. You know, show us what you've got. Um, I really love seeing what other people do. On the, you know on on their models and more importantly i'd love to see what color power weapons you guys and girls are doing out there anyway thanks for watching as i say if you haven't already don't forget to hit the subscribe share to your friends and hopefully i'll catch you all again very very soon